Uh, this video is going to show you how to do a mink specifically, but this will also work for any small animal that you chop, you know, mink, muskrat, weasel, squirrel, anything like that. Uh, it doesn't do the bigger, fattier animals. So stay tuned to an upcoming episode for uh, how to tan those bigger animals. But for now, this is all about the small animals. Uh, and in this, this particular video, I'll show you how to do a mink from start to finish. Um, if you haven't yet subscribed to the MB Wild Man channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Uh, give us a like if you liked the video, and don't forget to turn on that bell so that you get notified when we upload new content. That's it, I guess, for now. So, without further ado, how to tan a mink with MB Wild Man. Twenty-four hours later. All right, guys. Uh, here we are back again. Uh, and it's been 24 hours, so we'll take our uh, we'll take our mink back out of our, our bag that wasn't exactly sealed, but pretty close. And uh, next is a pretty simple short step. So you unroll uh, your salted mink hide, and uh, you're just gonna want to scrape off all of that salt. Okay, so I just shake it out really first side first, uh, and then once it's all shook out, I flip it over. I flip it back so that it's uh, skin side out. All right. Oh, just get my gloves on. Hold on. Should always wear gloves when you're handling this stuff. I don't know. I don't think there's any wicked bad diseases I can get from a mink, but you never know, right? So it's always good to have uh, lots of rubber gloves on hand. I go through a pile. So anyway, uh, once uh, I'm gloved up here. Right, so uh, just gonna turn this back so that it's uh, leather side out. And there's a lot of salt in here and some moisture again, which is fine. That's kind of what the idea was, okay? So when you turn this, you can see when you turn this uh, back leather side, or first side, uh, goodness. You turn this back leather side out, it's moist and kind of soggy again. And when we took it out of the, uh, the barrel with the sawdust and things just uh, yesterday, it was almost dry, but you can see how that this salt's drawing the moisture and things right out. So uh, all you're gonna wanna do now is put this back on your flushing beam, okay? Um, and you're just gonna wanna take, uh, I just use an, an old weeb knife uh, that's dull, super dull, and I uh, use the back part of it. And all you're gonna wanna do is scrape that salt completely off. Take any extra flesh or anything that comes with it. Scrape all that salt all the way off, okay? Top to bottom. And if you get any flesh or anything like that that comes off with it, you, you can get rid of that too. All right, so uh, once you've scraped all the uh, all the salt off, then the next step is uh, just exactly like the last step, actually. You're just gonna take your bucket of salt uh, that you had before, that you're half a cup of salt, and you're gonna re-salt this high. Now, this time it's gonna be a little different because you're, uh, it's, it's quite dry. Um, once the salt's off it, it kinda shows it's back to that nice, nice dry color or nice dry uh, texture. So you're gonna wanna work the salt back into this hide just like we did before. Pay careful attention to the nose, the eyes, the ears, the head area, and the tail area. Uh, those are areas that if you're gonna have first slip or you're gonna have this rot after and you don't do it, you know, it doesn't work out right, uh, it'll be in those areas. Uh, that'll be the, the, first, the first place that it starts to go. So, uh, resalt the hide is the next step. Again, work that in. Uh, I focus on the head to start with, and then I, uh, work my way down the pelt from there. Just kind of rub it in with your thumb and finger. Um, lots of salt all over. All right, once you've resalted, uh, go ahead and turn that back so that it's first side out. Put uh, flesh on flesh again. Okay. Pour a little bit of salt in. Make sure it 
kind of goes down all over, collects at the head a little bit. And then we're going to roll, roll the entire thing back up, just like we did last night. Squeeze it nice and tight, roll it up, make sure you keep some salt in the tail. Okay, and then back in our bag, back in our bag for another 24 hours. Okay, so we'll need to leave this set for another 24 hours, and then we'll come back and uh, take you on to the next step in the process. Right, so we're gonna take the mink out of the bag and we're gonna unroll it and we're gonna turn it uh, back to the, uh, the pelt, the flesh side out. And then we're gonna scrape off all the excess salt from that, okay? That's the next step. Okay, so there we go. Back out of the salt the second time and uh, all scraped and the excess salt off, all shaken out. Okay, so uh, the next step in the process, uh, after we have done that, so we've let this, we've salted it and let it sit for two, two sessions of 24 hours. Uh, and now we're back and uh, we scraped all that salt off, just like you just saw. And the next step is to mix a half a pound, half a pound of salt just regular table salt, uh, but half a pound into a gallon of water. You've got uh, half a pound of salt mixed in with a gallon of hot water. Once the salt is all absorbed, then just set that aside and let it cool. Once it cools, uh, you're gonna soak, you're gonna, you're gonna put this thing, you're gonna put this mink into that mixture and you're gonna, you're gonna let, it, let the water soak all in it for uh, skin side, everything, right? So let it soak right up, mix it around, squish it, make sure you get lots of water in it, and then just leave it in that mixture. Let it soak for six to eight hours. All right, guys, we're back here eight hours later. Uh, our mink has been soaking in the, uh, the salt and warm water that we let cool uh, solution now for uh, about eight hours. Uh, next step in the process is to just take a clean uh, towel or rag, something you're going to throw away when you're done probably, and we're going to pull the mink hide out of here, wring it out as much as possible, squeeze it to get as much of that salt water out, and then dry it in this towel. Uh, once we've dried it, and got as much of that salt water out as possible. We're gonna rinse the whole thing uh, with fresh water and just wash as much, rinse as much of the, uh, the excess salt water off it as we can. Uh, next, you're just gonna take fresh water. Just, uh, I just got a bowl of just regular tap water here, just some, some not salt water. Okay, and then you're gonna put them back in and and you're gonna soak them all up and rinse them out again. And you're gonna do this a couple of three times, okay? So basically you wanna take a bowl of fresh, clean water and uh, put them in, rinse them all around, um, take them out, wring them out again, and uh, dry them. It doesn't have to be dry, dry, but just, you know, let that water soak up in the towel uh, and then get fresh, clean water. And you wanna do that two or three times, okay? Uh, once your two or three times of that is complete, then the next step is to do uh, the same thing, but we're going to add some uh, liquid dishwasher, dishwashing, not dishwasher, uh, liquid like Dawn or uh, like sunlight soap or whatever it is, like dish soap, uh, to your water. And you want to lather them up real good, and you're just trying to wash off any extra grease or anything like that that's on there. Um, the the flesh and stuff should all be off by now, but you still may have some little bits of fat or little bits of grease left on the hide. And what you want to do with that dish detergent is you want to cut that grease and you want to get that off the pelt before we actually start using the uh, the hide tanning formula. You uh, next take the tanning solution that you're going to use and uh, heat it up for 30 minutes in uh, just a bowl of hot water from your tap. Don't boil the water. Just run your tap hot and then place your tanning solution in the bowl for 30 minutes. Uh, I am using um, this brand. Uh, it's called Deer Hunters and Trappers High Tan Formula. We get this at uh, North American Fur Auctions at the NAFA store. Uh, so I, uh, we've always had really good luck with it and it works really well. So that's that's just what we use. We've never really tried anything anything other than that. So 
Uh, once, your, once your stuff is warmed up, you're gonna wanna shake it really well and then apply it to the, uh, the mink hide that's been, that's been hanging to just dry. Um, the hide shouldn't be all the way dry. It should be still a little bit flexible uh, and moist from, from hanging it up. So you wanna make sure that you do this before the hide completely dries. Okay, so once we've uh, shaken up our hide tanning formula real well, after taking it out of the warm water, um, we're just gonna bring our mink down and you can see it's still soft. Uh, it's semi-dry. So uh, this is exactly kind of the way that you want it. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna apply, uh, I, I usually use a plastic bag. Uh, you can use just a regular table and then clean it up after you want, but you're gonna apply uh, this hide tanning formula. Um, to your glove, or I, I, you can paint it on with a paintbrush if you want to. I just usually put it on my gloves or actually put it right on the bag um, that this is on. It doesn't really matter if you get it where you get it. So you put kind of a, a pretty generous amount on and what you wanna do is you wanna work it, lather it, um, kind of knead it into the, uh, into the fleshy side of the skin, okay? So you wanna rub it in. You want to rub it in and make sure that it gets all over and you want to massage it. There's no real hurry. You want to make sure you get all of it and you want to massage it and push it and squeeze it down into the, down into the flesh, okay? Uh, down into the, the skin part, okay? And you want to make sure you don't miss any spots because this is, this is the tanning. This is what's going to actually do the, the preservation. So um, you want to make sure that you get it all worked well into the into the skin. Now you will notice too that as soon as you start this, it gets really slippery, okay? Um, so that's a, one of the good ways to know that you have enough or that you're, that you're getting it all in there is that it becomes very, very slippery. So uh, just make sure that you knead it uh, and squish it and pull it around a little bit uh, all into all areas of the mink, of the pelt. That way you know that you'll get a you'll get tanning solution everywhere that you that you need. Okay. After you've done this, um, after you've done this all over, then what you're going to want to do after this point is fold it so that it is uh, skin side, leather side to leather side. So just turn it back fur side out and pat it down so that you know that the sides are touching one another and then leave it set for uh, 24 hours, uh, just like that, and let the, tanning, let the tanning solution do its job. Okay, so it will tan the hide in, the, in that time. Uh, once you have that done, uh, I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna let the camera run for 24 hours, of course, but once you have that finished, um, and you've let this sit for the 24 hours, you're gonna come back to it and you'll turn it fur side out and then you'll let it finish drying. Um, or sorry, you'll turn it, turn it um, fur side in, I guess. And then you'll let this tanning solution uh, finish drying. But I will show you that just in a little bit here. So uh, that's pretty much all that you need to do at this point um, is massage that tanning solution into the hide. Make sure you get everywhere Make sure you get down along the tail as well. So you can see right there, I've already, like, I missed the, haven't quite got the tail section done. So make sure that you get the tail especially, or your tail will rot and uh, you'll lose it off the pelt. Okay, we've got it all pretty much worked in and we've got all the leather covered in our tanning solution. So we're going to turn it so that it is fur side out. I'm gonna pull that all back through. Now, what we want to do is, if you can see it here, we just want to make sure that it's flattened and so that you've got the skin touching the skin and so that that hide tanning formula, okay, is against the skin and there's not a lot of air in there. Okay, so you just want to push it and you want to fold it so that it's all touching. And when you come to the tail part, make sure that you fold the tail against itself like that, so that you're making sure that the skin is against the skin. Okay, fold that up. 
just like that. Okay, so once it's folded and once it's done with the tail, just kind of flatten it a little bit. And set that aside. Just like that. Okay, set that aside just like that for 24 hours. Okay, now I don't wrap it. <clears throat> I just kind of keep my pets and people away from this, but uh, it's okay to sit just like that for the next 24 hours. So we've waited our uh, 24 hours, 48 hours, and we've let this dry. Uh, we've just laid it out flat. Now I uncurled it last night and just uh, laid it flat um, just to give the, uh, the outside fur a chance to dry somewhat, a little bit. Uh, the last step in our process is going to be to turn this so that it's uh, back skin side out. And it's still very, very moist. There's a lot of the tanning solution still still, uh, still here, which is okay. Um, it's what it's supposed to have done. And what it's done is it's supposed to have soaked in and actually done its, done its process. So we're going to turn it back so that it is leather side out. And then we're going to hang this thing uh, up to dry. And it should dry slowly. You don't want to dry it with heat. You just want to let it dry at room temperature over the next two or three days. And the trick to this at this point is to, as it dries, you want to just massage it a little bit, stretch it, pull it, um, and just, you know, kind of work the, work the leather uh, as it dries. Now, you don't have to. It will tan if you just let it dry and just dry slowly over the next three or four days and then it will be done and it will tan. Uh, but your, the hide will end up being stiff. Uh, it'll make a nice wall hanger and it will look good, but the actual, it won't really be a soft tan unless you, uh, unless you work, work this as it dries. So you turn it back, fur side in, and you stretch it and pull it and just kind of wiggle it around and keep it nice and soft and supple as it dries, okay? Now, the inside fur part is still gonna be damp and you don't worry about that. Um, it'll dry as the outside part dries as well. And then after three or four days, when the outside of this is completely dry and still pretty soft and, and malleable, you can turn it back fur side out, give it a good brushing out with a comb, and uh, then you're pretty much, pretty much done this process. Um, a lot of little steps in the video, but you can do this, you can do this whole thing in a matter of five, you know, five to seven days, uh, as far as, because you got to keep leaving it, right, and then coming back to it, but uh, it is a great uh, great hobby to get into and a great way to keep your trophies, especially out on the trap line, you know, if something's significant to you and you want to you wanna go ahead and keep that or you got a camp or a cabin and you want to keep it. So anyway, uh, we're just going to hang this up over the next three or four days as it dries. We're going to continue to keep it soft and move it around. And that's it. That's the end of the process. So anyway, that's all for now. I uh, hope you've enjoyed the video and learned a little something from it. Um, until next time, happy hunting from the MB Wildman channel.